have face products, so that's uh, blush, bronzer, and highlight, and I have some palettes as well. So I'm going to start with blush. Alright, so I believe that is everything. So I've recently been using my Tarte blushes a lot lately. This one is called Dazzled. And it does have some shimmer, but it doesn't really transfer to the skin. And it just looks really natural. What I like about Tarte is that they you they build up nicely. You don't, you don't have to risk, you know, having too much blush. And just like looks a little on the flushed side, which I like. Um, so I'm definitely keeping that. This is Tarte's Party, which I got in the Sephora birthday gift this year. This one is a matte like peachy mauvey blush this one's a little more pigmented but it also just looks really natural on the skin and i just really like them so keeping that um next i have the l'oreal um visible lift blush in rose gold this one's really pretty and it feels almost like a cream but it is a powder and it's super pigmented like, you don't need a highlight with this. And I need to use this more. I haven't used it in a while. And I could probably use it as an eyeshadow. Because looking at this swatch, like, it's just so pretty that I don't want to get rid of it. But I'm going to put this in the maybe pile because I haven't been using it. So this, I'm not sure just yet. This is a cult classic. It's the Milani Luminoso blush. And so it's like a peachy coral um, with the nice sheen and I haven't used this in a long time but there it is right there it's very pretty um I don't know like I haven't reached for it but it's just I have a lot of blushes and it just kind of gets lost in the collection so this is also in the maybe pile this ooh, this is the mellow mauve elf blush and this one i love in like the fall and winter because it just looks so natural but let me see that kind of reminds me of um it kind of it's like a satin finish so there is like a bit of a sheen but there's no glitter in it um i'm gonna compare it to my tart it's like a mix between the two Tarte um, blushes I have. And I don't know. This, I put both the Tarte blushes on one. So, like, they look different. And this is really pretty. I think I'm going to keep it. And it's so inexpensive. And it's just a great blush. I'm going to keep it. I need to use this more. I need to rotate out my makeup. And do that a little more frequently so things get used more all right so next i have this is this came in like a set so it's like a deluxe size of the becca mineral blush in flower child this one actually reminds me of milani luminoso so i don't think i need to keep both of these so let me re-swatch this because i cleaned off my hand so this is Milani's Luminoso, and this is Flower Child by Becca. Oh, but they look different. <laughs> I thought this was going to help me narrow down, and it didn't. This is definitely way more pink, and this is way more peach. But they have very similar finishes. Um, well, I also have this pearlescent pink from wet and wild so let me swatch that and see if that helps me narrow anything down this is a nice blush as well so it's like literally like a mix between the other two <laughs> um so maybe that means i should just keep this one and get rid of the other two i think i like the Wet n Wild better than the Becca. This is a little too deep for my taste. So I'm gonna keep the Wet n Wild and I'm going to um, pass on the Becca highlight. Um, I'm still not sure about 
these two just yet so we'll be back to that soon all right I'll clean off my hands so I have three more left I have two benefit boxed blushes which I really like Rockator is just gorgeous and it's like this pearlescent pink which is the name of that wet and wild but it's just I don't know what it is about it I just love it so I'm definitely keeping that it's one of my favorites I need to pull that out and use it more it's gotten it has been forgotten and this is dandelion sorry my camera cut off um so I was saying this is dandelion from benefit and I'm trying to think well, nothing's like the L'Oreal Rose Gold. I don't want to like keep something. If I already have something similar to it. I don't think this is similar. No, not at all. I don't think I have anything else like it. And this is very light and natural. So, um, I hate to do this. It is in the maybe pile. All right. And then this I just recently got. It's an H&M. Um, Pure Radiance Powder Blusher in Cameo Pink. Actually, that might be similar. And this is really pretty. It's another natural looking blush. I really like it. Let's see. Actually, I feel like in person they look a little more similar than they do on camera. Uh, and I'm talking about the Dandelion Blush. So I actually think I'm going to keep H&M. And I'm going to get rid of Dandelion by Benefit. Again, I haven't used it this much, that much, so this will be on like Poshmark. I'll leave those links down below. All right, so that brings me back to these two. So the L'Oreal and the Milani. I think I'm go I'm going to keep this one because I can use it as an eyeshadow too, and it's just really pretty. So that I'm going to keep. This one. Somewhat reminds me of the Rockateur from Benefit. It's a little more peachy than that, but it has a similar effect. So I think I'm going to get rid of Luminoso because I just never use it. It is pretty though, but I'm going to say goodbye. So I got rid of three single blushes. Now I'm going to do um, highlights. All right, so here are my highlights. I did forget a blush. This is um, Blackberry from City Color, and I think I'm gonna pass this along. It's a great, it's great quality. It's super pigmented, so you do need to use a light hand. Um, but I feel like I have a similar color or just close enough color that I'm gonna pass this along. So I actually got rid of three blush. I mean, sorry, four blushes. But here are my highlights. Off the bat, I'm definitely keeping these two. This is my favorite um, natural looking highlight. And if you watch Kathleen Lights, you probably know about this highlight. It reminds me of the Laura Mercier Baked Radiance highlight, which I don't own. And it just, it's so pretty. So that I'm definitely keeping. And then my favorite high end, or maybe not high end necessarily, high end, um, but like more ba bam highlight is sin from urban decay oh my god like that is ba bam oh i just love it so if i do a more intense look i use that and i pretty much uh, tend to just alternate between those two but i have more obviously and i let's see if those give me the same feels okay so when I first got this, this is the NYX Ritualistic Highlight. Um, it's like a gold, yellow gold or a white yellow gold. Um, I was obsessed with it. Like I love the color. I don't have anything like this in my collection. So let's see. And like it's not glittery or anything. There it is right there. You can see it. I don't know. It's more yellow than Sin. But it's not as ba bam. How many times? I need to find another adjective. Sorry. <laughs> um, 
I don't know about this one yet because I do like it. I'm just obviously trying to reduce my collection. This is Wet n Wild Color Icon and Reserve Your Cabana. This is one that's look, supposed to look a little more natural. Um, find some space. So it's not like an in your face highlight. I don't know. I just, I literally never use it. I don't, can't even tell you if I've used it past, you know, past swatching it. So this I am going to pass on. And then this is the Physician's Formula um, Warm Nude. I want to say it's called a Shimmer, shimmer Strip. So it's going to say Shimmer Brick. Um, this is very pretty. So I might use my arm for this. You can do, stick to the more bronzier shades and you can use these as um, eyeshadows to do the more pink tones do the just lighter ones or you can just or you can swatch all over for a pinky bronze look so that's there there we go it's a great product. I'm done. I'm going to keep this because it's just really pretty and I need to use that more. All right, so back to Ritualistic by from NYX. It's so pretty, but it's close enough um, to sin in my book that I don't need both. Um, yes, you can tell the difference, but like from a distance I don't think you could so I'm going to probably put this one on try to sell this one too maybe in a bundle or something uh, because it's very nice I do like it but again I don't need two really similar highlights so I got rid of two next are my bronzers so um my favorite bronzer right now is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I have mine in light. Uh, it smells great. I'm sure you've seen a lot of reviews on this, you know. And I absolutely love it. It's great for my fair complexion, so I'm definitely keeping that. Um, I'm also keeping my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil. I love this just as... Oh, actually, I think I like the Butter Bronzer better, but this is a close second. It also smells really good, and I like it on my complexion. Um, next is the Physician's Formula Bronze Booster. This is in light to medium, and this was my favorite when I first got it, when I was just getting into bronzers, but I actually like like these others that I've kept so far better. This is nice, I think a nice one for fair skin, but I am going to get rid of it. Then I have this L'Oreal Glam Bronze in 01 Light. It does kind of have a shimmer to it in the pan, but I don't think it transfers to the skin. And it's a cool tone bronzer, which you would think would be great for contouring, but I think it's too, has too much of a sheen for that, and I just never gravitate towards this, so I'm gonna get rid of this. Then I have the Benefit Hula Bronzer, another classic. I love this. Um, this one I really like to contour with because it is the deepest of all of them that I own, so I'm going to keep that. And then last I have, this was limited edition I believe, the Laura Mercier Baked Blush Bronze in Ritual. And so, it's so pretty. It's got these like cranberry shimmery veining um, it is on the deeper side so I have to use a light hand um, but I think the problem is it's too dark I've been keeping it because it's just gorgeous it's a great product but it's too dark for me and I rather someone with who can actually use it you know give it a home so it's not just sitting in my drawer so this uh sadly i'm gonna part with so i got rid of three out of six bronzers so proud of that i got rid of half of them 
Next, I will do um, my like blush, bronzer, palettes, and then any cream or liquid um, face products. All right, let's just do the liquid products first. This can, ugh, sorry, dog hair. This is a trio from Ulta, and so the white is the liquid illuminator. Then you've got um, rose, so it's called Shimmering Pearl. This is rose gold, and this is bronze. And I think I've literally used these once. I'm just not big into the liquid products like this. Um, so I'm going to pass this on. They're not bad by any means, but like I said, I just don't use these kinds of products. So I'm going to get rid of them. And then same goes for this Becca, um, Moonstone. Uh, it's pretty and everything, but I never use it. So I'm going to get rid of that. So that leaves, this is the Maybelline Master Contour in... 010 light this I really like if I do want to do a more intense contour uh, I use that I think it's a good shade for me and it blends out beautifully I never use the like I guess highlighting side because I don't know I might give it a, the highlighting side a try but I'm keeping the product because I love the contour if they would come out with this with just the contour I would be all over that so that I am keeping um, next, this is new. This is the e.l.f. Bronzed Pink Beige. Um, I don't remember the proper name, but it's like their cream. This is like their cream product. I want to say it's in their mineral line. No, their Beautifully Bear line. I'm not sure. But again, this was the shade Bronzed Pink Beige. Um, I got this off of Jessica Braun Jam Beauty's recommendation. Um because she loved this. She had a different shade, um, but she is slightly darker than me, so I got the lighter one. And so, I'll swatch them. I haven't used the blush yet. I really like the bronzer. The blush is a little too intense for me. So this is just really pretty, and it's a cream product I will use because it's it kind of dries to a powder finish, and you just can work with it like a powder. The blush I might not use, but because it's a little too intense, but I love this bronzer, so I'm definitely keeping this. Next, I got this in an Ipsy bag a few months ago. It's Pixie by Petra, and it's the Rose Gold uh, Beauty Blush Duo. So this is like a deluxe size. The full size is like, I wanna say like that big. Um, and I remember liking this uh, when I first got it. Yeah, it's really pretty you can see that but I just never use it and I have similar products so this I'm gonna get rid of um, now I have my like blush well actually that we'll do this first I have the manizer sisters palette so if you like um, Mary luminizer Cindy luminizer and Betty luminizer I'm trying to clean off my hands all right so this is super pretty and it's I think especially Mary Luminizer like a cult classic um, but I never gravitate towards this and I can't say it's because it's a palette and it just gets lost because I actually use these so this I think I'm going to get rid of and try to sell it because I've barely used it I've only swatched I pretty much just swatched it it's gorgeous I love it but not enough to pull it out and use it quite often. So this I'm going to find a better home for. So that leaves these. This is the Maybelline Master Contour Kit. This is in 10 light to medium. And then this is their new, this is newer, it's the Master Blush. This is also in 10, but I think this as of now is the only like shade you can get. Um, 
I was obsessed with this when I first got it and so I had high expectations for the blush and I was not disappointed. I think they're both great products and I do use them. This I need to pull out more because it's again got lost in my collection. This I have definitely been using recently and just to show you, it comes with three blushes which I think works even for my complexion that one works if you use a light hand and the highlight is like this light pinky color and it's just really pretty. I don't know, I just love both of these products so much. Um, this highlight in here is a little more golden. See them next to each other? So it's not like you're getting a repeat of product. Um, and the blush is different as well, so I just think this is like great to have both of them and I'm definitely keeping them both. So, I got rid of all my liquid highlight and bronzers and blushes. <laughs> the Manizer Sisters palette and then this. So, one, two, three, four, five, six out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I say that was a pretty good job. So that is the end of part two. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you aren't already. And I'll see you in the next part. Bye, guys.